As you see, Benenoa fans here in Kano colorfully decked out as well. And that's uh, the kickoff taken uh, by the Benenoa team. And uh, of course, I'm not alone here. I do have uh, my colleague, Mike Mayaki. Mike. <laughs> yeah, a pleasure to be on this hollow seat close to you, Casey. As we go into this encounter, I wish the Benenoa are trying to prove a point. Now listen, a 1-0 victory over Nigeria at home there wasn't a fluke. Uh, uh, but th th this is a fight between neighbors. It's never pretty. What's his football? Uh, the, uh, the, that's uh, Ibrahim Ogolola, uh, early enough already getting into the skin of uh, the referee. Yeah, on that occasion, he went in rough towards uh, Mataya Samuel. That's the Elkanemi midfielder. But good enough, eagle eyed referee here today. Saw all of that and duly cautioned Ogolola. And Nigeria chips the ball into the middle of the pack there. That's uh, a ball looking uh, all the way for Kingsley Duo, but that rather came off his back and into touch. But uh, Nabil Yaro, it was uh, who had the final touch there, and he's given an early corner kick to the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Rabi Ali, he would drive this one in into the six air box, but the header will knock it out, and uh, Ali puts it back in the mixer, but eventually. Kukwere puts it clear. Good early pressure from the Super Eagles. That's uh, <laughs> looked uh, really bad. A Nigerian uh, Premier Professional Football League top scorer Stephen Ode. He nearly had his. A Nigerian uh, Premier Professional Football League top scorer Stephen Ode. He nearly had his head taken off by Charles Chabel Gomez. But that was a clever move by him. You know that he had to win a free kick. And the next thing to do was just to take his head, of course, not directly in your face, but side, sideways sort of to earn the free kick. Well, he's giving away a free kick, Gomez, and um, it is uh, Rabiu Ali. Well, that's uh, Osas Okoro from Rangers International who drives this one in. He goes direct for goal, but again, Yaro. Is the man who obstructs uh, what looked like an opportunity for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. The Birinoa team in this early stage is getting pinned into their half by the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Everyone expects them to be on the front foot because uh, they trail having failed to score in the first leg. Samuel Mateas. The ball. It reaches Sosas and Nigeria keeps it going. And that's Hassan Ibrahim trying uh, for a reverse pass, uh, but that didn't come off. And uh, Fasino will smash clear for Benet Republic. All the way to goalkeeper Ike Jukwe Zenwa, who gets his first touch of the game. Emmanuel Ariwajuku in for the suspended Oji Kalwa Kabwe sent off in the first leg. Well, Kalwa was sent off in curious circumstances. He picked up a yellow card during the game, and then at the end of the match, after the final whistle, uh, it seemed that he spoke out of turn to the referee who gave him a second yellow. Some grossly amateurish on his part, more like a schoolboy. A captain is somewhat permitted to talk to a coach and complain legally, but he wasn't the captain, and you shouldn't talk to everyone or even talk at his jersey. That he did, no wonder he was given a yellow card, which meant he was out of this game. And as uh, one man uh, the coaches would have liked to have, but um, Ariwa Chuku should be a decent standing. This game, very important in different respects. Samuel Matias had given away a free kick inside Nigeria's half, taking short. But ball arrives at the feet of Rabiu Ali. This is his home base. He plays for Kanu Pillars, the owners of this stadium. He is known as a midfield orchestrator in the MPFL. And uh, the fans who, of course, will be right behind him, expect him to come up tops today. He was uh, slightly below par in the first leg, uh, but uh, a whole lot is expected to happen today for Nigeria. Kotsi, Rabiu Ali.
And it's got Ifan Ifan by his side. Ifan will be the grafter, while he will be the creator, the orchestrator in chief. I'll see how all of that pans out. I guess it's a very dogged team from uh, Republic of Benin. Goalkeeper Steve uh, Glodjanan with his first touch of the game. Kingsley Dua from Lobby Stars. Trying to put some pressure, ball away by uh, Ariwa. But he only arrives at the feet of Aboki, who smashes it in wayward fashion over the top. Gaston Humbeji. It was actually. I, I don't think uh, this uh, sort of boys uh, will be happy in the knowledge uh, that they are the first Nigerian selection ever to lose a game to Benin Republic. So uh, very impressive for them today to punish Benin, <laughs> sort of, I, in revenge. I like your use of English punish, but then you do have to earn a result on the pitch. I think that's what they are meant to do. And then, by the way, records are meant to be broken. At some point, that record will definitely be broken. And that was what happened about a week ago in Benin Republic. And that's the poor control uh, from Kingsley Edua. Ball ran uh, right up his body and up his arm. And the free kick will be taken for Benin Republic by uh, Mama Bayere. Header again is from Ariwa. Uh, Benin does uh, look like uh, they're here for business. Benin Republic uh, defeated Togo on penalties after the 1-1-0 in the second leg, having lost 1-0 in the first. If I find him preaching upon Bayeri on this occasion, like I did say, if I find him with the crafter in the midfield, and there he is doing his job, former MFM midfielder, now plays for Aqua United. He seems to be playing uh, a little bit uh, too deep. So uh, at least in these early stages, uh, we know him uh, to be a man who likes looking forward. This is the first moment of tension in the defense of Nigeria. The man to drive in the free kick is uh, Dino, Dino. Okay, that's actually Sebu Mama, the captain. He got the goal in the first leg. And um, the final header was from uh, Degnon Kupo. Good pressure from Emmanuel Ariwa Chuku. Steven is on the ball now, trying to push out. This kid's rise to fame amuses me. It surprises me because Dominic Ayofa, the former vice chairman of Lobby, saw him playing. But that's a chance for Nigeria. And was smashed towards. That was from a duo, but uh, straight down the throat of uh, Glodjinan. It didn't have uh, a lot of power behind it. He got the direction right, the power was lacking. Clever footwork there, finally touched by Rabiu, but then not much power there. Could, the, the friction there wasn't much. Not much. He couldn't strike it. He couldn't get clean, talking about his way duo. When Nigeria away down the left one more time, inside the penalty area, but ball given away, not for the first time. A duo is lucky to get it back. And um, There are lots of uh, wayward passes coming from the Nigerian midfield. They need to be a lot more incisive. The only shot on target so far coming from the duo came after some great uh, passes were swapped in the final third. Ariwa, Matias. Great footwork from uh, Al Hassan Ibrahim. Ifan Ifan. Looking for the run of uh, Ibrahim. Nigeria beginning to string the passes together. It's uh, the wing back, Osas Okoro. The fans are beginning to appreciate now. I think they need to settle this down. That's the way it's done. And um, it is a duo again, cutting in from the left. But again, he gives away the ball. I, I, I think uh, while a duo might be a great striker, I don't think uh, he is uh, a pass master. He certainly is, but then the coaches perhaps were most impressed about his ability to have that experience of an experienced attacker, which all they really doesn't have. Perhaps that's the reason for playing here. And at some point, I expect him to justify this. Go in his clubs and lobby. He's got a few useful goals this season. Uh, some have asked the question why lobby is top scorer. 
wasn't um, isn't in this team, but um, well, the, the the managers know exactly why they want certain players in their team. Well, Tony Okotu might not be in the team, but then he's done it the most professional way. Letting his foot do the talking for him by scoring goals, and that's where a good player does it. So let's see what becomes of Tony as we see a wayward pass. Poor first touch there by Stephen Ode. Presently, the league's deadliest marksman. Yeah, he's been uh, gone off the boil a little in the last uh, couple of weeks. Not uh, back the goal in three games now. It's uh, 10 minutes. Right here at the Kano, at the Sunny Abacha Stadium in Kano. 2018 Championship for African Nations qualifier is Nigeria Neil, Bene Republic Neil. God Glodinon. He kept a clean sheet in the first leg. Eze will simply shadow this one into touch. I was talking about Eze who just shadowed that ball into touch. Dominic saw him playing football in the park in Makodi and felt this kid had potentials. Drafted him to the junior lobby team. In no time, he was a member of the senior team. The first time I saw him play at the old Rio Stadium, I felt this was a kid for the future. But then, as progressive as he was, he felt Sunshine Stars was his next abode. He presently plays for Fanny Uba. But good to know he's developing in the game. And that's a free kick given away by Benin uh, Republic. Rabi Ali was trying to take that one quickly. He said he likes to go back to Ifani Ifani, who finds uh, the run of uh, Samuel Matthias. Another wayward pass. Eventually into touch. I think uh, the Super Eagles, they need to keep it calm, take it easy. Uh, they're trying to quickly uh, get uh, in the opposition's 18 yard box. And I think uh, the, the quick nature of the passing is uh, making them uh, give away too many passes. But Mike, it's got to be victory by more than one goal today, else. And I think it's achievable. They have it in them. It's just a first rush period. Once they settle down, they start crossing the eyes and dotting the teeth. I mean, it really will not take time. I have the confidence in this last game. Once they start firing. A Nigerian assistant coach of Imama Mapakabo. Very frantic on the touchline there. This could be a tactic that could be useful to the away team today, but a Republic. He was looking for the free kick and got it. Yeah, Degnon Kopo on that occasion, he played for it, wanting to buy time. Normally in football, if, the if your opposing team is having the rhythm, you need to break their rhythm. You know, cause some commotion, sort of. Create a fall, and that was what Kopo just did there, to perhaps slow down the rhythm of the Eagles. Emmanuel Ariwachuku back to centre back partner Steven Aze, Samuel Matias from El Academy Warriors. Looking for Ari Wachuku, who finds uh, Jim Akas. Akas tips the ball forward to an opponent. It's been the bane of Nigeria going forward here. We what passes, they need to get that uh, worked on quickly. Now they can produce something here. It is uh, Alhassan Ibrahim. A cross is required here, Osaso Korova cooks it, and uh, the ball will roll out on the far side. Osaso Korova, of course, uh, a converted right back. Wonderful understanding here between al Hassan Mwazam and Osade Bame Okoro, as they call him. That's a Benin name, which literally means, uh, Osade, my God is beside me, and he's got that moment. They have sort of deserted me a little, because that wasn't pinpoint on that occasion. Marked away emphatically by Waris Aboki. Nigeria just looking for a way through these masked ranks of uh, yellow shirted players at the base of the penalty act of Benin Republic. Marcus with that train. In time past, he used to be a marauding wing back, you know, in the world of Max or Jobo. But of, this, of, of late, he's been kind of quiet. But the ball chipped forward by uh, Rabio Ali, but that's not going to be any problem for goalkeeper Steve uh, Glodinon. Just uh, holding off Kingsley Eduo there. Eduo fired blanks at the first leg. Where Nigeria, it has to be said, we're rather below par. The only goal of that encounter coming 
after Afiza Remu, who is on the bench today, despite an impressive performance, gave away a penalty with just one minute of regulation time left. That's fantastic turn at the back for Benet Republic, smashing the ball into the center circle. Nigeria should regain possession, but Hariwa couldn't hang on to that, and it's the Benenoa who come marooning forward now. Nigeria a chance to break. It is Ifani, Ifani, but uh, he's taking the sting out of that counter-attack. And it is a duo into the Etienne box, but uh, slipped at the wrong moment, and the chance goes begging. Dubrenoir with a chance to attack down the left, but uh, Bosan Sokoro says no to that. And a quarter of an hour gone, and just had the one chance that arrived for a duo. He may not be scoring much, a duo, but uh, he does get into good positions. Some great skills shown there by Rabi Ali. No surprise, they call him Pele in this point. And Hassan Ibrahim, again, looks for this time. He was looking for Stephen Ode, but um, Ode lost his footing. Waris Aboki, he does appear to have quite uh, a left foot on him. Assistant coach of uh, the Super Eagles, Imama Mapakabo. Osan Sokoro, well, he can hit them in. Mwazam, as Al Hassan Ibrahim is called, it looks like uh, he can cause quite a bit of a problem for the men in uh, yellow. Great reverse pass from Osan Sokoro. And uh, one more time, Al Hassan Ibrahim gets a throw of uh, a bit one leg. And this time the ball chipped into the head of the six head box, a header called for. But uh, that was a weakish one from Eduo. Well, poor communication there between the Super Eagles attackers there. Eduo should have spoken or communicated better with uh, Stevie Nodi on that occasion. And perhaps they might have achieved better results. Samuel Matthias, great turn from uh, Ifani Ifani. Stephen Eze going uh, route one. Can he pick out the run of Eduo? Yes, can Eduo keep that in? He manages beautifully, not just to keep it in, but uh, to get a corner kick as well for the Super Eagles. That was great running and a great thinking to do what he did. Good agility on the part of the veteran. Pretty intelligent on that occasion. He turned swiftly and two corner kicks to the Eagles, while none to uh, their Berenoa counterpart. Hope one of these will result into a goal. Well, the first one was quite easily dealt with in the second minute. But the Super Eagles, they do have uh, several tall characters in, inside that uh, penalty box. Steven Eze, a major threat. Al Hassan Ibrahim, another Rabi Ali as well have been known to put them in the back of the net via his head. Nigeria with a, a clear advantage in terms of height. Stephen Ode accused of uh, obstructing goalkeeper Steve Glodjanan. The sun appears to be in his face. Can Nigeria take advantage? But the header there fr is from uh, Emmanuel Ariwa. And uh, his header is off target. Ariwa Chiku has always been a marked man. No, a few seconds before that corner was taken, the referee was quick to speak with him alongside his opposing defender. But on this occasion, he had a clean strike at goal. Perhaps it would have been better directed. Well, I think uh, Osa Sokoro's uh, corner was actually looking for Ariwa Chuku, who was on the near post. I think there were taller players uh, right on the edge of the six-yard box. There's a uh, Degnon Kokpo. Who gave away a free kick, Nigeria. Moving forward again, swapping passes beautifully. Osa Sokoro walking wonderfully with Muazam down this right side. And that was well driven in by Hassan Ibrahim. I thought that was headed 
over the crossbar, but it was uh, rather headed for the goal mouth, but Glodjanan was alive to the danger. Al Hassan Ibrahim, they call him Wazam in these parts. I see supporters of the Uvaku cheering their team on, and that's the spirit. Your team does not need to score before you support them. Keep the support on. That might propel them to turn the support into goals. Rabiu Ali, good turn, and he puts it right on the plate, almost there for Steven Ote, but he can't clear the first defender who acrobatically gets rid of the danger. Heda returns it from Eze, and he takes it in his last try, shoots! That was close from uh, Kingsley Eduo, and Nigeria beginning to turn the screws now on uh, the squirrels. Eduo has had uh, himself a handful of chances already in his uh, first half, uh, but it's the direction that's the problem. Yeah, poorly directed on this occasion, but he held up his defender. Now talking about Dine Kupere. Now, that was power, that was strength holding up the defender. Unfortunately, he couldn't direct his shot at goal. And that was uh, too casually done by uh, Al Hassan Ibrahim, and uh, it is Deknan with an opportunity there. Puts it out, but the shot returns it. And uh, a deflection rather makes it easy for EK Jukwe Zenwa. The Beninois team, tinkered by former legend Omar Chomogo. That was some great skill. Can I get a advantage? That is this in the bet. That is a homeboy, Rami Ali, who scoops it. Beyond! Oh! Oh! In the 22nd minute, and the stadium goes haywire. It is the Super Eagles of Nigeria who have the lead here. And they are level on aggregate, and the fans are standing. The script couldn't have been better written. Homeboy Rabi Ali, the man they call Pele, who transformed that move into a goal. We know that he knows practically every blade of grass on this pitch. Now he's practicalized that. What about this for a clever move? Now the Benenoas were asking for an outside position. He wasn't, well, the man that buried it actually did not interfere with play. I, I thought he was played onside and he cleverly disregarded everything. Went in up that pass from Wazam and buried the ball. Pass goalkeeper Steve Gajinon for the first goal for the Eagles here today. Well, I think the crucial touch there had to come from Steven Ode. Uh, the, that turn was absolutely fantastic. He turned his marker inside out and played, had the presence of mind to play the ball straight up into the path of uh, a duo. But uh, Rabi Ali took responsibility and buried that ball beyond the Steve Glodjanan and it's Nigeria who've got the advantage after 22 minutes right here at the Sunny Abacha Stadium. Now a rip-roaring arena you can still see some fans coming in but uh, we hardly have any empty well we do have some a few empty seats to our left and here Nigeria go again at least as far as the fans here are concerned, that is the Super Eagles uh, level on aggregate. And there they go down the left with that delivery. Very, very poor indeed. But Casey, the, the, the good thing for me about this is that the, the Eagles look like a coach team. They look like a team that has been playing together. You see them travel passes. Now, now what about this? No panic on the part of Coach Salus Yusuf here because his boys actually doing the work, carrying it. They might not have got tons of goals in the first 21 minutes of this match, but they've got the needed equalizer, so to say, so that scores on aggregate will be 1-1. Hopefully, they'll step up the gear and bring up, score more goals. More goals, exactly that's uh, what the Nigerians need here. All the way back to EK Chukwe Zenwa. Now, in the history of uh, this competition, Nigeria failed to qualify for the opening two editions in Cote d'Ivoire in 2009 and in Sudan in 2011. Uh, but they qualified for the next edition in uh, South Africa in 2014 after they defeated Cote d'Ivoire 4-3 on aggregate. They beat in Cote d'Ivoire 4-1 in Kaduna and losing 2-0 in Abidjan.
Last time out, Nigeria beat Burkina Faso 2 0 in Port Harcourt and drew goalers to qualify for Rwanda 2016. But this time around, that's uh, some great skill shown there by uh, Chabelle Gomez, and it's a uh, free kick for the Squirrels. He got the better of Osas Okoro on that occasion. Osas couldn't do better than hauling him back. Sounds from a footballing family. Now, what about this from Definitely skillfully weaving his way past Tifa Ifai as well as a tugging Osas Okoro, earning for his team a free kick on that occasion. Well, I think Osas did the right thing there uh, because um, if Gomez had got beyond the both Nigerian defenders, he was true on. Uh, well, he had a true. A straight route to go, so to speak. You can see the Nigerian defenders towering above uh, the attacking uh, squirrels. Ik Tukwe Zenwa, he's got to concentrate. It is uh, about chip to the edge of the six head box. That, that wasn't going to be any problem. Arewa Chuku in a tussle with Deknon Kuko, who is claiming they've tried to gold out his eyes. Kopo and uh, Ifani Ifani getting a talking to from uh, referee Wakine Sono from Equatorial Guinea. Is it? Ifani looking, uh, assessing options up front. That's quite a long one. Good of uh, Edward to keep that in play, not for the first time. Osas Okoro will pick it up deep into the Nino half. Ifani Ifani, skilled, skilled midfielder. Eventually, that move breaks down, and Nigeria will have to build again. Is it? Find Osas who loses possession. And that is Gomez. But this time, the skill for Gomez doesn't work out. And superbly, superbly, marshaled away from danger by Steven Eze, the FC Fanyu by dependable centre back. Not too surprised about the progress of that kid. He's got it in him. All he needs is just to have that head firmly screwed on those shoulders. I will see better from him. Now you're talking about, you're reading out the history of the Eagles in the Champ competitions. When they played first time out in South Africa some four years ago, a certain uh, Rabiu Ali was in that team and they made it all the way to the third place. And they have wonderful players on that occasion. But good to know that in that team we had a player. Two years ago we had people like Steven Eze and uh, Chima Akas, who was the captain of that team two years ago. This time around we have a lot of new players, but some experience to perhaps push them along. A free kick given away by Aqua United midfielder Ifani Ifani. Very mobile midfielder, it's got to be said. Wherever Ifani Ifani is, well, there's a lot of running to be done, both with and without the ball. They're knocking into the edge of the Nigerian box, uh, but uh, it's uh, Ariwa who does the cleaning up business. And Rabiu will go all the way back to go by Ike Chukwe Zenwa. Well, Samuel Matias gives it away to the consternation of the crowd who chips it. Well, Bennett was trying to look for the forward route, but uh, the pace on the ball, a bit too much for Ibrahim Ogolola. There you see the big number now, talking about Kisley Eduo using his massive frame for advantage here. Keeps pushing his bodies around, causing some sort of confusion among the central defenders of the opposing, breaking them down, hopefully in time to come. The very fast and nippy Stephen Ode I just do have up. Um, right, what was Eduo trying to do there? He, he nearly did it very well. I didn't see an opportunity, but he did. I thought that was... There you see the big number now, talking about Kisley Eduo, using his massive frame for advantage here. Keeps pushing his bodies around, causing some sort of confusion among the central defenders of the opposing, breaking them down, hopefully in time to come. The very fast and nippy Stevie Lode, I just do have a... Um, 
Uh, what was Edua trying to do there? He, re he nearly did it very well. I didn't see an opportunity, but he did. I thought that was wayward, but he was incisive and precise. And nearly cut out goalkeeper Steve Glodinan. And Nigeria still with an opportunity. It is Stephen Ode. And the